20 years after it went off the air, the legendary Murphy Brown returns to CBS with many of the show's original cast members, as well as some new ones. Multiple Emmy Award winner Candace Bergen returns as the broadcast news legend, and back in the game after a brief retirement, she's faced with the world of 24-hour cable, social media, fake news, and a vastly different political climate. Now, Murphy is determined to draw the line between good television and honest reporting. And also joining us today is Grant Schald, who's playing Miles Silverberg, Guys, welcome and thank you so much for joining us. What's it like to be uh, playing these iconic characters again? Hey, Bill, it's it's heaven, heaven <laughs> in a bucket. What is, is there? An expression? <laughs> heaven, heaven, on, heaven on earth. Is that what you is that what you're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> We're thrilled. We we really we truly thrilled. We just love working together again, and. Um, and, and we love doing this show. We love all these characters mm -hmm. and the stories that they enable us to tell. It's, we feel very blessed. And so far it's been classic Murphy Brown. You know, yeah. it's, it's the way it's being written. It just, you kind of feel like you could just slip right back into these characters. All you have to do is say the words and, and um, we're having so much fun. Now Grant, when you were approached for the reboot, was it an easy yes for you or did you kind of have to mull it over a little bit? About 0.25 seconds yeah. <laughs> right away. <laughs> I, I said yes before they changed before they changed their mind. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You want to want to make sure you grab that before the mind is changed. Now, now obviously a lot of uh, absolutely. Now back back in the day, you had the Dan Quayle moment from the first go around. Now, is there a moment in the reboot of the series that you already know is going to generate some noise? I, I, it's already generating noise, and it hasn't even been on the air yet. So, yeah. I think every show has a few moments like that, and and we've we haven't shied away from anything. Uh, the Diane English and our writers have done a brilliant job, and they've just tackled it full force with all the wit and all of the intelligence that the show mm -hmm. was always known for. And we saw some of your interview with uh, with the CBS Sunday Morning here the other day, and they, you kind of said you're going to approach any topic that's out there. Um, just, this is my curiosity, is there a protocol in place if our president happens to, you know, tweet about you guys? I mean, it, it would be our fondest wish. Really? <laughs> really. We, and, and we, you know, I myself have been thinking that he would say, gee, old Candace, and, you know, got out of shape, and, you know, not funny. I mean, I, but we're, we're prepared. Now, who else can we see back from the original cast? Everybody, except the people who are dead. Oh, well. Um, we, you'll see Grant, who plays Miles, mm -hmm. uh, Joe Regalbuto, who plays Frank, Faith Ford, who plays Corky Sherwood, and then we have three additional characters, one played by Tyne Daly, who plays the barkeep. She's Phil, the old bartender's sister. And um, we have Jake McDormand, who plays Murphy's son, Avery, who is spectacular, and we have Nick Dodani, who plays the, the new today media consultant, because 30 years ago when the show was launched, there was no social media. No, there wasn't. We can't wait until everybody gets to see these new characters, because they just fit in seamlessly, and they're such good actors. You can always watch uh, Murphy Brown here Thursdays on KCTV5. It is at 8.30, followed by SWAT, and then KCTV5 News at 10. Thank you so much, Candace and Grant. Uh, we can't wait to see the show.